the earth. The earth. Dear Mrs. President, dear friends, today we are here in Paris, but our hearts and our thoughts are with those in Ashraf and Liberty. And it is to them that I will now speak. Dear friends of Ashraf and Liberty, I have come to reiterate my commitment to you as I did five years ago in Kam Ashraf. You are many friends at the European Parliament will not stop until we are sure of your safety as well as your move to Ashraf. You are our inspiration, our hope and our strength. We are proud of you. Dear friends, we were victorious in getting the PMOI taken off the U.S. blacklist. We were successful in our campaign to dismiss Martin Kubler, that agent of the Iranian regime disguised as an international diplomat. We now need to win the battle for Camp Liberty's protection. The last massacre was further proof that the United States Department of State and the United Nations have not fulfilled their obligations. How many deaths will it take before they do something effective? Inaction in front of murder is collaboration with the murderers, but action is to participate in the crime. And I wish one day Martin Kubler will be held accountable for his shameful behavior. But, but dear, dear friends, don't forget, the devil generously rewards those who are on his side. Why is the PMOI demonized? Because over the years, and in the face of numerous trials, they have not given up their struggle, but have continued to stand up for a democratic Iran. They are the real threat to the regime. The attacks on liberty show the weakness of the regime and are motivated by fear. This is the sixth year I have participated in your gathering. You are the beacon of a resistance which never gets tired and that does not need to rely on foreign powers. I commend President Rajavi for her leadership and also wish to salute the historical leader of the Iranian resistance, Masoud Rajavi. I hope, I hope to meet him very soon in a free Iran. Masoud and his brave followers have become symbols of perseverance and hope in these dark times of moral relativism and dirty pragmatism. To conclude, the days of the regime are numbered. The farcical elections may have created temporary false hope for change, but the West will soon see that in the regime there is no distinction between moderates and hardliners unless someone considers that it is possible to be a moderate criminal. <laughs> While honoring, honoring those who have given their lives for this purpose, let us look to the future and prepare for the overthrow of the regime and the installation of a democratic government 
supported by all of you. There is no better or more noble goal in our times than that of transforming Iran in an open society. Let us not give up until we save the Iranian people from oppression and darkness. We all know that the battle for justice and freedom is never finished. But we also know that there is no better life than that dedicated to this endless fight. Viva Iran Libre!